Yes. Yes. Now, Scott Walker, who developed neuroemotional neuro technique, or NET, discovered this uh, a long time ago. A uh, person would, feel, would be adjusted and be fine, and then think about a horrible, stressful incident, and they'd resubluxate. Okay. And he said it was called a neuroemotional complex. It was like a charge. Right. And that emotion and the body were connected. And when they'd go into that emotion, that memory, it would just throw the body off. So you want to break that connection okay. and, and release that, that charge. And we do that with, with corn-specific technique, KST, okay. which just goes to say that subluxations are physical and, and psychologically state-specific. Now, have you tested this technique then? Because you know, I know chiropractors as a whole, we tend to be skeptical, especially mm, with a new technique course. coming out. Mm -hmm. So have you tested it, and what, have been, what are the results from Not that? Not just on, on chiropractors, the worst patients in the world. Uh, and when I started getting dramatic results, the doctors would just turn to me and say, when are you teaching this? Okay. And for the first year and a half or so, I'd say I'm not, which got them upset because they saw these miraculous results. And it's all based on one-on-one -on -one case histories, case studies. Patient, patient, patients getting better one after another. And when I, w well, I was really worried about teaching this because I, I thought, well, am I the only one that can get these results? You right. never know. Maybe these results only work for chiropractors that write patient education literature, right. you know, <laughs> who are from Brooklyn, you know, and they're wise. And I thought, well, we, we taught, we decided to, uh, I gave a little mini talk in England, actually, about a year, year and a half ago. And some of the doctors picked it up immediately. Mm -hmm. I was really, I mean, I spoke about an hour or so on it. It wasn't part of my scheduled talk. And they picked it up immediately, and I started getting emails from the chiropractors there who were using it, saying, my God, one, my, a Down syndrome child who has not walked her whole life suddenly starts walking. And wow. I'm getting these, and other people, emotional problems clearing That's incredible. up. incredible. Depression lifts, and fo brain fog and all very powerfully lifts with these adjustments. It's really interesting. I'm still amazed. So I, I taught it just as a sort of a, a little demo in England a little over a year before I started teaching it. And the results so astounded me from the doctors learning it that mm -hmm. I decided, okay, I, c I think I can teach this. Right. And we had our first class at the end of May uh, 2005. Okay. And so it's not even, as of this moment, it's not been a year. Now what else have you done that's kind of revealed to you, you know, the power of this technique and how it can actually help people? Well, the, uh, I'm always observing patients and uh, I realized using Van Rump's initial work that you could adjust discs with this. Okay. So people with hot discs who have been to other chiropractors or chiropractors themselves who ultimately are thinking, oh my God, I'll need surgery, you can adjust the disc itself and release it. Okay. So that, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, um, also, you can uh, check the cranial bones. And right. Van Rump said a long time ago, you know, he started his work in the 20s and 30s and 40s. And he was actually research director of sacral occipital technique before mm -hmm. he developed, uh, or perhaps concurrently with, uh, with uh, Van Rump's work, DNFT. Okay. And he said if the cranials are not adjusted, the cervicals won't hold. If the ribs are not aligned, the thoracics won't hold. And I found that to be true. I mean, how frustrating is it? You can lay a patient down on the table three times a week, crunch, 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 three times a week, the same areas. Mm -hmm. That's not healing. You're releasing stress patterns, yes. It's good, yes. But you're not healing, because if they were really getting better, they shouldn't need you so much. Right. And with this work, after you work on them, the first adjustment, the next time you see them, they are better. There's 90% less subluxations. Old stuff comes to the surface. After you've seen them a few times, you don't need to see patients very much. In fact, I've never had the, it before in my life where I, now I can say to a patient, okay, you're fine. Uh, call me uh, you know, in a few months when you feel like it. You'll know when you're subluxated most of the time. Right. Uh, this, uh, as I said, it's shocked me as much as it perhaps so uh, shocked of, anyone. What other kind of things have you seen unusual as far as cases and problems that you've actually corrected, different types of conditions? Well, you know, chiropractic isn't really condition-oriented. But so, uh, I can perhaps read some of the case, uh, some of the letters I got from chiropractors. That would perhaps be uh, the best way to explain it. Because I can say, well, this is great all the time. But it's right. really the doctors that got the results. And then they write to me. And I've got hundreds now of uh, letters telling me. And now I'm getting letters from patients as well saying, my God, this is incredible. I've got to tell all my friends about this. I've been going to chiropractors for years. I've never seen these kind of results. Right. 
I did not intend for this even to exist. It was, I feel like it was just, I was lucky. It just okay. sort of happened uh, out of terrible frustration and, and a sense of hopelessness. And I just kept searching, right. and it just fell in my lap one day. Okay, so near, near the end of the, our, our talk, then I'll go ahead and give you a chance to grab some and read some of the testimonies from doctors. Mm -hmm. I know those are very powerful. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of a couple of things I can tell you about. Okay, go we ahead. found uh, something called a hump pattern. Now, you know some people, the back of their necks, they have a hump. Right. And it looks terrible. And they feel that they'll turn into little bent over men and women. And right. it's a good chance they will, unless it's corrected. Mm -hmm. There's no chiropractic technique that can correct it. We discovered how to fix it. People with bad humps, within a few weeks or months, they don't have it anymore. And these humps are dangerous because they put pressure on the heart, lungs, and thyroid. Mm -hmm. So you want to correct it. Right after you correct it, they can breathe better, they feel better. We found that a panic pattern. When a person is, is sort of freaked out sometimes and they don't let it go, they're still in a slight state of stress, a hypervigilant state. Too much stress hormones are going, and you know, an excess of stress hormones is common in society today, and it's been known to cause low immune function, sexual disorders, emotional problems, all because their, their, their hormones, their glands, their adrenals are getting blown away. They're, they're okay. just exhausted. And it turns out that an interesting thing happens when we're scared. You know when a dog is scared, what it does with its tail? Right. Puts it between, between its uh -huh. legs and runs away. Well, humans do the same thing. We put our tailbones, our coccyx, between our legs. The coccyx goes anterior. Coccyx is the tip of the tailbone, tip, tip of the spine, at the, right under the sacrum, goes anterior. Why? What's the point? We don't have a tail sticking out that an animal's gonna bite off. Why mm -hmm. would our tailbones also go anterior? Well, right. it turns out that the meninges that cover the brain and spinal cord go all the way down and attach to the tip of the tailbone, the coccyx. Okay. When the coccyx goes anterior, it tightens everything. Right. The meninges tighten and we're girded for battle. Okay. Also, our chest raises up, our, our sternum raises up to pr probably to protect our heart and lungs. Sometimes mm -hmm. our, our larynx locks up and our pubic bones lock up. That's a little more rare, but it does happen. Okay. And uh, we're in fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. That's part, that's a, a natural defense. But unless it releases, we're always in fight or flight and our, we'll never be healthy. So we found the very quick, simple way to locate the panic pattern and correct it. And another pattern is the sphenoid pattern. And I'll use this. This is a human, a representation of a human mm -hmm. skull. And the different colors represent the different cranial bones. Okay. Uh, new studies show what, what cranial doctors have known for decades and longer that the cranial bones move. And one of the more important bones is the yellow one. And it's right behind the eye and it's called a sphenoid. You have one, you have the same sphenoid on both sides because a sphenoid wraps around the bottom of the skull. Let me do it from this way. I'll take the, the jaw off. It's easier. The sphenoid is called the butterfly. That's what it means in Greek, butterfly. Okay. And it looks like a butterfly. It has two big wings here. Those are the wings that touch behind your eyes. And in the center is a, a sort of like a little indentation, and that's mm -hmm. called the cella tersica, uh, or and that's where the pituitary sits. Right. When the sphenoid is out of position, you can get a number of problems. Uh, one is migraines. In okay. fact, you see the yellow bone, the sphenoid, makes up part of the eye socket. Okay. And people that have headaches or migraines coming from their eyes, it's the sphenoid that's out. Almost always, sphenoid is out. When the sphenoid is out of place, it can also cause hormonal problems. No problem there because the pituitary sits in it, which controls our hormones. And the sphenoid's out of place also. Vision problems, brain fog, depression, uh, have all been related to sphenoid. Uh, uh, needing adjustment. adjustment. Okay. And when the sphenoid is properly adjusted, people respond beautifully. Their eyes, their vision clears, th they feel happier. Excellent. It's, yeah, this adjustment has had very powerful effects, not only physically, but emotionally. Okay. You're correcting the cranial bones, all of them, and we teach that in our seminars. How to adjust all the cranial bones very quickly and easily. Doesn't take long. And then the whole body as well. 